everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is Sophie and I am a mother to six month old Casper so if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button please give my video a good thumbs up and we are just going to jump straight into the video of what's in our changing bag so say our because obviously it's not for me it's for my little boy so it's kind of our bag so firstly my changing bag is baby machino so i wanted this bag for ages and my friends luckily bought it for me for my baby shower so i am a bit of a designer bag i just like a louis vuitton bag and i just like bags and it was no different when i found out i was pregnant i thought i want a nice changing bag i didn't want a gucci because i just think they're a little bit extreme price wise just for a changing bag but i wanted something nice and this went with my pram so my friends bought me this so i'm going to just talk through what's in this changing bag my little boy is nearly six months old so it's not a, like a newborn changing bag but to be fair it's not that different to when he was a newborn baby there's probably just more things in there now because he's older and he's more interactive with things so we'll just open up the bag so first thing that's inside is my purse so obviously we can't really go anywhere without our purses i use this as my handbag now when i'm out with casper if i'm out on my own then i will take a handbag or i might take like a little bag but usually i just tend to put my stuff in here so first things first is my purse obviously got my money in it my cards like my nectar card my boots card everything like that so i always need my purse then we have got essentials so we've got nappies so i always have four nappies in the changing bag please just excuse my nails are disgraceful so i use the sainsbury's nappies so we're on size fours they've got little whales on and what i do is i put a nappy sack in each nappy instead of having like loose nappy sacks i put them in each nappy and then i know that when i've got a nappy i've also got a nappy sack there's nothing worse than changing your child's nappy say at someone's house and you don't have a nappy sack and you have to ask if they've got one and you just feel quite rude because usually if i was at someone's house i would just put it in back in the changing bag i wouldn't put it in their bin unless it was like my parents or josh's parents so yeah we i always make sure i've got four nappies in here and i always put the nappy sack inside the nappy We've then got muslins, so I always make sure we have two muslins rolled up. Maybe three, but his sickness is not as bad as it used to be, so now we'll just go for two. So I roll them up and then put them in the little side pocket that they're in. So again, I always make sure that we've got fresh muslins, just because Casper is a sicky baby as well. So we just make sure that we've always got some in there. Like if my mum ever looks after him, she always says to me, make sure you've got the muslins. And I always do. <laughs> then we've got the standard wipes. So we've got a pack of water wipes, baby wipes. Obviously, you need your baby wipes for changing nappies, wiping faces, cleaning up mess. And sometimes they come in handy for us as well. Especially now, everywhere is sort of takeout food. We might go somewhere like on a Sunday for a walk and get a takeout sandwich or whatever. And then we might need to clean our hands. So the water wipes always come in handy. And then I also have some Milton antibacterial surface wipes. So these are great for if Casper drops his dummy on the floor or he we might i don't know clean a bottle like a bottle tea or something with it or he might have his teething ring and he might drop that on the floor so i think these are a great 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 item and a great staple to have in your changing bag because you can literally just wipe anything and then it will have been sterilized so milton sterilizer wipes i then always have a change of clothes so in here we've got a pair of leggings and a pair of socks and a vest so again casper is quite a sicky baby and we need make bleh, we need to make sure we always have a change of clothes so what i'll do is i'll sort of make sure i'll freshen it up every few days so I don't obviously want it sitting in the changing bag for like two weeks just in case we actually didn't need to change his outfit. And obviously as well, 
I don't want clothes to be sat in the changing bag and he never needs them and then we just don't wear them for ages because like in this one right now we've got like a really nice pair of leggings from H&M and a nice baby vest from next so I don't want to like leave this in here for that long but we don't actually get use of the clothes and then just like a little pair of socks so we've always got that in there just for if he's sick on himself or he has a punami just or just in general he might get a bit dirty not that he would he's a baby but because we're weaning him a little bit now he might get food in him I could be at my mum's house or if I leave him at my mum's I just know that if she's got him all day we've got a change of clothes in here so I always try to make sure that this bag is updated at all times and then I don't have to like run around like fretting thinking oh I need this I need this I need this we've then got a little bag for me so I think because it's a changing bag slash my bag it's important to have something in there for me as well so in this bag we've got lots of different things so firstly we've got some perfume this is just in case I don't know I feel like I smell a little bit or I just need a little spritz of perfume so I've just got one of the FM perfumes that someone sent me in there just because it's a nice little travel size bottle I've then got some nipple balm so nipple balm actually comes in handy as nappy cream as well so you can use nipple balm as nappy cream and obviously I'm still breastfeeding a little bit so you just never know when you need a little bit of nipple balm and again it's just like a nice toiletry size one and it's the Mamma Mia. I've then got a little stick of deodorant so this was in my labour bag because it's a little handy roll on again it's just like a little small size so it fits in here nice and comfortably I've then got paracetamol and ibuprofen or ibuprofen I last time I did a video with ibuprofen in loads of people commented on how stupid I was at how I announced it so I don't actually know how you announce it I've forgotten already and then lastly which people might think is weird I've got an empty syringe so a syringe obviously I use to give Casper his medication but I just think you just don't know when you might need a syringe like you could suck a bogey out or some snot if you really really needed to and also if a child was choking on something you could put it in the mouth and suck it out obviously if it's a wet and like a liquid thing but say if he was choking on some puree or something like that then a syringe could help pull it out which sounds a little bit dramatic but I just think a syringe like this can come in like quite handy so that is in here I've then got things for Casper so I've got this little jelly cat book and it just crinkles and it's got different textures on it and different colours so this is just in case we are somewhere and Casper gets a little bit bored so I know that I've always got something for him to play with or something for him to have a look at obviously we're not really going anywhere at the minute we're not going to restaurants or pubs or we're not really going into anyone's house but this has been in here for ages so I do find that I've used it quite a bit especially when we've been to like restaurants and stuff before Christmas I would just get this out and he can have a play with it and just have a look at all the animals and all the different colours I've then got this Grow Hush Baby Karma so this is a little white noise machine and I got this for my baby shower and it's honestly the best thing ever so it's just a tiny like little round sort of egg shape sound monitor and it comes in like a little plastic case and it plays white noise so it's got three settings there's a heart the rain and then the waves so it's very like it's really really quiet so it's good to hold to the baby's ear so you put your hand in the back there and you just would pop it on the baby's ear and I'm gonna play one of them and hope that you might be able to hear it but you actually might not be able to I'll play the waves so that is the wave sound and it lasts about five minutes so again it's really really useful if we are in the car and 
he's crying a little bit and if I'm sat in the back I might just pop it near his ear. It's good when we're out and about in the pram because if he has a little bit of a whinge I can just pop this white noise on and it will usually tend to settle him. Especially if like my phone's dying and I don't have charge, I don't have enough charge to be like using Spotify or YouTube to play white noise. It's just a great handy little product and when I got it for my baby shower I didn't actually use it for about eight weeks and then I saw it in his cupboard and I was like you know what that would become really handy for his changing bag and even though he's only six months old I still use it now like I went to my mum when we went to my parents at Christmas he was getting a little bit aggy so I literally just put this against his ear and he literally was calm within minutes because my phone was dying and I didn't want to and you might be using your phone for something else as well like you might be using your phone for the maps you might be on the phone there's not necessarily always a time where you can just pop white noise on your phone and give it to the baby so this is a great little product and it's by the grow company we then have spare bibs so Casper is obviously a very sicky baby so we have lots and lots and lots of spare bibs. I usually tend to have three in there but we've just got two at the minute so I've always got fresh bibs just in case we have a bit of an accident or there's just a bit of a leakage with his mouth. What did you just say? Or there's just a bit of a leakage with his mouth. We then have the fold foldable changing mat so this is the same as the changing bag so it's just a baby machino fold out changing mat so it's cotton on one side and then you have the washable side on the other side which actually is a little bit stained from when he's had a few pooey nappies but it just folds up nice and small and again it's just really convenient like if I was to change him in a public changing room I don't really like just laying him down on their changing mats because sometimes they do have like tissues that you can pull over but sometimes they don't so I will always put this down just so I know that he's kind of on his own changing mat like rather than just a public one especially with what's going on at the minute it's not very hygienic and you just don't really know how clean people are unfortunately. I then have a spare dummy in one of the Milton dummy sterilizers so again we just don't know when we're going to need a spare dummy he might lose one we might forget it so i always make sure i've got a dummy in the changing bag just in case we are slowly trying to wean him off the dummy but i'll always make sure he has it for a little bit of a comfort i just we just kind of don't want him to be able to fall asleep with one like that's the only way he can fall asleep but having a dummy in the changing bag a spare dummy is literally essential for us because we could be out on a walk and he now pulls his dummy out and he could drop it and we might not notice so we always have a spare dummy just in case then we have some magic salve which is for casper so i might use this for either nappy cream or he has like quite a bad dribble rash so if it was quite bad and he was itching i just have something in there just to make sure that we have some sort of cream really which to be fair i could probably put this in my little toilet bag just so it's in sort of a similar place to everything else so yeah just having some sort of cream he might even scratch himself with his fingernails because sometimes i forget to cut his fingernails because they literally grow that quickly and just like a little bit of that would just help to soothe the area and then that is all for the middle section so it's quite a full changing bag i just think the older the child gets the more that you actually need like when you have a newborn baby all you really need is nappies nappy sacks a few bibs a few muslins and a few change of clothes and obviously wipes you don't necessarily need toys yeah you don't necessarily need like anything that's interactive for the baby or any sort of toys or anything like that so that is the middle section done so you can see there's quite a lot and then when we have a bottle so casper's combi fed so he has around four breastfeeds a day and th two or three bottles a day when he has a bottle we also would then have one of these tommy tippy bottle warmers in there maybe even two depending on how long we're out and about so we use the man bottles and we what i would tend to do is fill this with the water at a really good temperature and then this would keep it nice and warm and then in one of the side pockets i have little pots again from tommy tippy which i fill up 
with formula so they just have like a little lid that you pull off and then you would just pour it into the bottle so these are really convenient for carrying formula around so the both tommy tippy this is the tommy tippy bottle warmer and then this is a tommy tippy formula dispenser and then again in the side pockets that's all i have in that one so i would just have a few of those with formula in at that side and then at the other side we've got some trusty hand gel because again you can't go wrong with hand gel especially in our times like what's going on right now so it's just the milton hand sanitizer which is safe for babies as well so you're never going to sort of like damage the baby using an alcoholic hand sanitizing gel because this is made for babies so again a great thing to have in a changing bag whether you've changed a nappy in the car and you need to wash your hands or you've just been somewhere like public yeah you might have changed the baby in a public toilet and you may wash your hands and then touch the door so you might then want to use some hand gel so it's a great thing to have we also have a teething ring in here so now that Casper is a little bit older and he is teething I just carry one of these with me everywhere so for example we've been to my parents today and they're in my bubble so I'm allowed to do that and he just got a little bit groggy and the dummy wasn't satisfying him so as soon as I gave him his teething ring he was absolutely fine so he was obviously like his teeth were obviously troubling, troubling him a little bit and they're just nice and small so they don't take up too much room and they just happily fit in the side pocket but again I just think it's a great little thing to have and even if he's not teething he just sort of will shake it and play with it and look at it especially because of the colours and the textures obviously it's made of rubber and then we have some wooden bits on there and then some like little knitted bits on there as well just a few more little bits we've got a pen because you can't go wrong with a pen you could need a pen at any given moment you might need to write a card you might need to write your signature on a receipt and again especially in the times that we're in right now a lot of places won't let you borrow a pen you have to have your own so i just think a pen is nice and convenient and you can't go wrong with a black biro and then lastly i've just got my favorite lip balm so joe malone lip balm just to keep my lips nice and hydrated i don't pop this in like my little toiletry bag section because it's just so much more convenient to grab out the side and when you're a mum you know you do a lot of rushing around so making sure you've got nice and hydrated moist lips is one of those things that just you need so that is everything in my changing bag so you can see that it's pretty much full to the brim and then if we have one of the bottle warmers in there as well like it is a full full changing bag so again like it's not over complicated there's not loads of things in there that i wouldn't use i don't have a lot for me and i don't necessarily have a lot for casper like i think some people really overthink changing bags and they have something for like literally every single occasion but because of what's going on right now as well we can't really go anywhere but that is just my basic changing bag and I just make sure that it is topped up before we leave the house like if I've got five minutes in the day sometimes I'll think right I'll just quickly update the changing bag because I know that we might be going somewhere tomorrow so I just make sure that it's never like empty because there's nothing worse again than going somewhere and not having any nappies or something like that. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you took something from it. Whether you're a mum-to-be or you're a new mum and you're unsure of what you could put in there or you might already be a mum and you might have picked a tip up from me and think, yeah, do you know what? That's a good idea. I'm going to get one of those. So I'm going to tag a few things in the description box below if I can, if I can find the things online. And I will see you guys in the next video so please hit that thumbs up and i will see you guys soon